Yeah, hey everybody. So today I'm gonna to show you what I think is the absolute easiest way to add really good content, relevant, updated, curated, C-U-R-A-T-E-D, curated content to your web directory. So in this case, again, as in all of the videos in this series, we're using the My Listing theme. My Listing natively supports a plugin called Buddy Press. I think this is an indispensable uh, tool or plugin to have available on a web directory. It gives social interaction, social functionality to your directory. Uh, lots of folks aren't taking advantage of that. And I'm going to show you how this really solves the problem of getting new content onto a business directory. Now, really quickly, I don't wanna to go too far afield. I wanna stay within the parameters of this video, but there are, in my view, four different kinds of content that are really, really useful to add to a directory. One is listings. So that's where most of us start. Unfortunately, that's where most of us end as well. So listings obviously are integral to any business directory. Two, you have blog content. So the next rung down on the ladder is just adding articles to your directory. What I see in my own experience, this is where most folks start to slide in terms of discipline. And it's actually one of the easiest ways to really get your site to rank uh, well quickly and to start to show up in the search engines for whatever the topic niche or set of keywords are that are relevant to your content and community. I'm going to record some videos where I'm going to show some really uh, what I think are slick and strategic, maybe call it skillful ways of using article or blog content to rapidly expedite the process by which you can rank well for your site. The third kind of content, which I love, is Q&A content. So using questions and answers in the Quora style model. This is really invaluable. They're really easy to use. What I do, and I'm just, I have this up actually for a client. So I'm just going to pull this up. I didn't even really notice it was there until a second ago. This is a uh, financial services uh set of keywords that I pulled up using the Q&A model from answerthepublic.com. I've done videos on, on this tool in the past. It's free and it's really ideal for Q&A content. You can get verbatim Q&A for any niche, any locality, any uh, you know geography or industry and just populate the Q&A section of your site using a free plugin like anspress.com. Uh, IO. There are some other Q&A plugins as well. I prefer that one. It's free. Uh, and it just really makes a great and valuable addition to any directory. The one thing I don't love actually about my listing is they're not really, some of the styling for that plugin in particular is not great. And I've had to do some hacks, which is not my expertise. I've actually had to outsource some of that. And it still doesn't look phenomenal on my listing. So you know, that's one little uh, demerit, let's say, of using this particular theme with a Q&A plugin, or at least that Q&A plugin. All right, so the last type of, of content is social or curated content. So I wanna show you, this is the uh, our, our staging site for what is going to be the directory piece of mindfulmarketplace.com. I just wanna show you what I do. So, I mean, this is real, this is not contrived. So I find articles, I'm going to show you in a second how I do that. And I just post updates. So long-term benefits of mindfulness, some fascinating research into the long-term years later effects that a mindfulness practice has on life quality. One recent easy to read article below, and I add the link. All right, so this piece here are the parenthetical comments that I create. The link underneath is a link to an outside source who has written already or has already written an article that Google likes and I am referencing by dint of posting the link below. Want to learn how to meditate, but I have no idea how to begin. Here's a great little visualization on or actually illustration on erasing your outline. And again, this is all my parenthetical uh, thoughts. And here is the link below. 
all right, the effects, the magic of microdosing, everything you ever want to know about microdosing mushrooms, LSD, ketamine, and much more. Many of you might not like that topic. I'm interested in this, as are many of the folks in a mindfulness-oriented or consciousness-exploring community. All right, TM or mindfulness, how to pick the right type of meditation for your needs, and then, you know, some more thoughts from Ian, and then here is the link below. All right, so I'm going to show you, again, how I do this. This is the most remedial. There's a, there's a more streamlined way, but I'm just going to plug this in right now, pulling up a new screen, Google search for the word mindfulness. I go to news, team mindfulness may erase conflict at work. Eh, I saw that earlier. I don't even think I love that, uh, you know, topic for my community. Anyway. All right. Positive impact of mindfulness training is felt six years later. This is actually one of the links that I posted below. Here's another one that I posted that you just looked at, Transcendental Meditation or Mindfulness. Again, I'm just going to be pulling up that article. This is, again, all being looked at in real time through Google News just for that one keyword. Now, the real skillful way of doing this is to set a keyword alert for this and just get your all this stuff inboxed to you on you know in your email client and just kind of have all this available to add whenever you're ready schools turn to mindfulness to to tackle student anxiety love this perfect match for my community have a lot of parents who are interested in mindfulness i actually have a teacher um, who is going to be teaching some mindfulness for children this is perfect so watch this so i'm just going to add I always like to add a question if possible because it kind of conforms to that Q&A style model that people are really uh, searching for and is easy in a long keyword phrase way to rank for. Mindfulness for kids, learn some simple By the way, I'll read the article before I do this, but I just took my own, you know, kind of in, intuitive, you know, guess about what that was going to say, and here it is. All right, so schools turn to mindfulness. Here's the article, and now on my directory, I am sharing that. All right, Christians object to the schools, mindfulness, blah blah blah. All right, mindful gadgets, again, apps, text, tools, that sort of thing. Nice match for the people in my community. Uh, say mindful green, I think that is. making this shit up, as you can see, and then I'm going to post the update. All right, so, I mean, this has taken me like four minutes thus far. It gives you a very Tumblr-like, uh, you know, way of adding content to your site. My listing supports Buddy Press out of the box. You could keep doing this and literally add tons and tons and tons of new content super quickly that is really relevant and I have no idea what this link is. I'm not even gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna post that. All right, typically I'd like to add something to that so I'll probably delete that later because just posting a naked link is not good enough for me. All right, so you know, if I wanted to do the same thing with, let's say, uh, shit. I didn't mean to go back into my inbox there. So let's just do it like this. Meditation. It's going to bring up a whole separate search result set, right? Best meditation tips for people with anxiety, meditation made easy, and so forth and so on. Meditation for uh, aggressive policing. Again, I know this is something that's very interesting or relevant to folks in my community because we've talked about this on Facebook and uh, privately in our little beta uh, group. All right, so that's how you do it. It's very, very easy. 
This works for a local niche even better because they're you know you're going to get more targeted uh, kind of and less you know the, the scope is going to be more focused and you can rank more quickly for really highly relevant keyword phrases. For an example, I'll show you. Let's say you're doing this in Miami, so you know for something like Miami, if, you know, which is not far from uh, where I live part of the year, you know, you're just going to have more relevant news results for things that are happening in a smaller radius, right? So rather than a niche, you're looking at a geography. 